the Shang-Chi trailer, the newest Shang-Chi trailer dropped, and with it brought a lot of excitement for many reasons. First and foremost, this trailer, like from start to finish, good god, this was the trailer that I think many people wanted. I was going to say, can we just change this entire topic to talk about the trailer as a whole? Yeah, sure, we'll just toss it in there, it doesn't matter. Because <laughs> like, that, that trailer yeah. was fantastic. I, I it was, it. oh my god, like, th seeing the Mandarin doing Mandarin-y things, um, you know... Uh, yeah, they, they definitely learned on the businessman Mandarin. Oh yeah. Definitely. Yep. Um, all that, you know, seeing the more completed special effects because you got to think they're in the final stage now if not completely done editing the film almost yeah. so yeah. it's that part looks good the choreography looks mind-blowing good like this you could tell this is going to be peak you know marble hand-to-hand -hand combat action like that scene in winter soldier with bucky and the knives it's going to make that look like child's play which awesome like it's mm. Yeah. They're hopefully not as many edits. Because apparently, I think Simu Liu's had a, a hand in the choreography as well. Oh, oh, good. Because he's mm. good. <laughs> yeah. So that uh, should be something. Now, I think... Uh, no, I don't think. It's 100% guaranteed. The most unexpected part of this trailer was the little thing at the end where we knew the fight tournament would be a factor in the film, but we're all like, eh, what could they possibly do with the fight tournament? Well, here's Wong fighting Abomination. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Boy, you really which, pulled some. Yeah. Which, funnily enough, was in that first big leak that I said about the tournament. Dude, we've 100%. known about this since then. Like, I, we, we've known everything about this movie for two years now. <laughs> on, <laughs> so I, like that, it? I literally went back to that and I kept looking at it. I was like, how is it at the same. Like, it was in the span of the same week like the flash leak and the shang chi leak both hit and everybody dismissed everything and everything mm. we're seeing from both is literally one to one everything i i don't get it and this was one thing that was you know rumored and, and now it's confirmed and there was some other stuff in there that people were saying this is also going to happen in that so i guess you know, this shouldn't be the only surprise for the tournament because it sounds like we're going to have more surprises as well, which, I mean, I, I can only I imagine. Mean, you'd if... assume so, you know. They, they gave away the whole dragon thing, which I was yeah. shocked at. It's Same. just like, okay, really? <laughs> no, that's the thing, man. So obviously that's not as a big of a factor as I yeah. thought it would be. It's... It's interesting. The marketing for this film is surprising me on many fronts because I would have assumed you save Abomination and Wong for the film so people go, you'll never believe who returns. But if they're willing to just toss that out there, and coincidentally enough, the next day Hasbro's like, guess who's got a new Abomination figure coming out? Ho -ho! It's like, oh, of Shit. course you do. Yeah, of course you do. And of course I pre-ordered it because I want that dragon fin look. Uh, uh Yep. Just like, um, what else does this movie have? It's got to have something else. Oh, it's got to. Yeah. Because, I mean, they said it, there's plenty more surprises in store that they don't want to talk about and, you know, mm. go out of their way. And I think introducing Abomination in this way and showing off that his look has evolved and changed kind of connects it to some of those pieces being like, you think, you think like he's being tested in this tournament? Thunderbolt was like, hey. Hey, Blonsky, go. <laughs> like, go fight. I mean, very e e easily. Easily could be the case. Yeah. Or it's like, you know, how else did he get there? Has he just been walking around, like, China or wherever this is for the last five years during the blip? I I'd like to imagine Blonsky's been walking around just like uh, Bill Bixby's version of Hulk in the TV series, just trying to hitchhike his way to China to fight <laughs> this tournament. <laughs> Just that really sad music in the background. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but nobody will pick him up because he has spikes <laughs> semi protruding out of his human form. He's like, oh, I, say, I, I like how the, it's like a natural evolution of the look. Yep. It's actually going back to the Incredible Hulk. He had the spines, but yeah. like, over, you know, in the thirteen years it's been since we've seen him, they've just slowly evolved into fins. I, I will one hundred percent be like. 
accepting of the fact if you know during the movie he's just like yeah i've administered more serum more tests have been done to me and this is what happened it's yeah. like yeah okay like your evolution wasn't done we get it you know like it it, it, it i mean we even saw it throughout the incredible hulk it's like slowly evolving with more and more so i, I would assume anytime thunderbolt's like Hey, I got some new juice you want to try? He's like, juice me up! So, you know, it's... Yeah, it's and, exciting. And we know we're going to see him again because it's confirmed he's in She-Hulk. Yep, confirmed by Kevin Feige at that. So that's that's like a confirmation. Which I know and... people don't believe. Like, oh. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't believe We don't know for certain. certain. It's like, no. We know for no, certain. We, it's like we, we knew know. for certain that this was Abomination from the trailer because the official caption said so. Yeah, true. You didn't need Feige coming out here and being like, "No, it's it's Abomination yeah. and Wong." It's like, yeah, we know, we know that. Now, what do you make of Wong in this? How did he get tangled up in this mess? <laughs> I like to think Wong just goes to these tournaments because it, if it's in Hong Kong, he's in the Hong Kong sanctum. It's not exactly yeah. he's a million miles. That's true. It's like, hey, he what needs to bro, like, keep himself sharp a little bit. No, go to a fighting tournament. I would like to imagine also that, like, he's trying to make something for himself. Like, Doctor Strange is still gone missing or whatever's happening. He's just like, what am I going to do? I'm going to go fight in this tournament. Uh, I don't know. Like, <laughs> or maybe there's something, like, maybe he's fighting in it because whatever the tournament is for, which that's definitely what they're fighting for, something. If you win the tournament, you're getting say, something. I, I'm going to assume it's like a chance at the Ten Rings. Yeah. We, there's, there's more than one we know that now for a fact and i'm go my assumption will be that dr strange can't be here and wong is like i gotta get these back because these things cannot be in the control of the mandarin again yeah. so let's do this now that also brings into question is well, who has the rings and how powerful are they if the mandarin can't just get them back so you know, speculation. I, I can definitely see how they're probably hiding much more of this film and why they showed off so much. So, it's... I'm going to say, it's just... There's, there's clearly more than one set, uh, mm -hmm. which we've seen at the end of this trip. They're, they're both fighting with it, because, of course, you've got to do the fight the bad version of yourself. Yeah. They said he was going to get some kind of ability power thing that was going to, you know, keep him more in line with everyone else. And it's like, hey, there you go. Oh, they're not doing is, the cloning yeah. thing maybe they still do the clone thing but he's also got the rings but yeah that might work um because so... the rings clearly like being gold when they're gold in his arms they're gonna give him like the braces look exactly he's got from the yep. comics with the red top so yeah yep. yeah 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 you could kind of connect the dots now um uh so with that in mind pie in the sky take a i wish or I hope this character appears in the tournament. If you could use Ooh. anybody, who would you Ooh. toss in there? Oh, if I could use anyone. Um... <sighs> Existing or? It doesn't matter. It can be somebody in the MCU, maybe even the TV side, if you want to pull that in, if you're daring enough. <laughs> I mean... it, well, right. Well, it's someone that hasn't, that has appeared. Not in canon, but they have been done before. Okay. But not properly. I'm going to say Karnak. Oh. Oh my god. Right? You just throwing Karnak in there and it's perfect. Easily oh, done. Oh god, that would be so good. Uh, that, and that's true, and he's never appeared in live action, so this is a perfect way to do it. So. Yeah, exactly. No, that is... So no, good. you have one get his ass beat to Abomination. He just comes in here and does the whole like, oh, that's your weakness, bang. Um, yeah, that'd be amazing. He's just like, oh, he's I got study fight. you. <laughs> then he's got to fight Shang Chi. He's just like, ah, uh, how do I beat this guy? <laughs> how do right. I do? Oh yeah, yeah. that would. Because be let's be honest, it's not. They're not going to do Iron Fist. Because if anything, this trailer to me was literally going like, yeah, he's going to punch this dragon and get the rings. Honestly, and that's, I that's think how he gets them. In my opinion, this trailer confirms to be what I've been saying, that they're streamlining Shang-Chi and Iron Fist lore into one so they can make Iron Fist a simplified reboot. And this yeah. with the mountain, the dragon being a protector. And I say his mother, his mother it, just gives off Iron Fist vibes it is, completely. It, they're 100% going to establish that this is sort of like the mythical cities are all sort of related and 
Iron Fist probably not showing up, so I'm not going to go with that one. Um, I, I will just go, if if I can make the most fanboy fanboy request that I want to see in this, <laughs> I would want Frank Castle to just show up in his War oh. Machine armor, being like, I stole this, wow. what now? <laughs> Wow. wow, Mitch, that's kind of. Funny. I want my masturbatory moment in this. Okay. Yeah, but you have armor wars for that. I, I know. I want. Don't I... ruin Shang Chi. <laughs> don't don't do this to Shang. Frank shows up in the suit. He tries to go toe to toe with Abomination, and the suit just gets wrecked. He's like, oh, I gotta go steal another one, and that's it. That's oh. it. Uh, well, I don't know why room. he. <laughs> why do you want these rings? What rings? I'm just here to beat up people. <laughs> All right. You're a criminal. Yeah. He just like doing that primal scream for like ten minutes. That's all Frank <laughs> Castle does. He's got to like take off the helmet every couple seconds to rub his forehead. Because <laughs> <laughs> he does it every scene. He's just like, oh come on, Frank, come on, you leave yourself vulnerable. Get oh. that Frank Castle like typical Iron Man shot from inside the helmet. Yup, yup. <laughs> you... Yeah. So I'm, I'm, also, I'm also going to throw in Jessica Henwick. Uh, I, I want same. Uh, yep. Prof if they're going to do any run, just bring in her. Bring her in, yeah. Just yeah. tell me she's Iron Fist, and I'll go with it. That's fine. Yeah. So you don't even acknowledge the fact that she's like the Netflix version. You just reboot that character with the same actress. <laughs> Finn Never. Jones dying on the way to Conan. Wait, don't you mean Iron Fist? <laughs> no, we pretend Finn Jones doesn't Ooh. exist. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Or just make her Danny Rand. Just do sure. that. Just go like, yeah, she's Danny Rand here. There you go. Variants. There we go. Mm. And you could also too, because Danny is a girl's name too. So there you go. Perfect. You go. Done. That's it. That's that's it. I want.